Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We are ready to roll up the firmware update for the Terminator DAC. Not the Terminator 2, not the Terminator Plus. This is the original Terminator DAC released in year 2017. That was, oh, almost six years ago. Before I go into the details, I just want to say thank you to all your support and understanding for the past few weeks. The firmware update project has got us really busy and extremely resource intensive for the past few weeks. We have been working very hard to support the customer for this firmware update project, but it is extremely important for us to do that as we think this is a way for Windshine Audio and Dynafrips to give back to our customer. The firmware update is free. It, there is a little bit of risk involved as you update the firmware, but as you update the firmware, as you follow the firmware update project, you know that this firmware update is definitely fruitful and rewarding at the same time. You get to experience new sound and you can roll back the firmware to the original firmware as and when required. So we gather feedback from our customer over the past few weeks, comments on the new firmware sound quality, whether this is better compared to the older one or whether this is worse compared to the older one and that I'll leave it to the customer himself as commenting on sound quality is not really our strength. So if you like the new firmware, you may continue to use the new firmware but if you do prefer the older firmware, you can roll back to the older firmware as we have already uploaded the older firmware in the FUT download links provided to you before. Right, this is the Terminator DAC released in year 2017. At that point in time, we were using another DSP module. We call it Amanero USB module. I have one with me. This is the very first generation. Oh, before I forget, my faithful pointer. This is the Amanero USB module or the DSP module and the firmware is not user upgradable in the field. This has been around for year 2017, 18 to mid of 2019. In mid of 2019, Dynafrips released a new firmware or a new DSP module that is firmware upgradable. It looks different and I have the module with me as well. This is the other module that we released in year 2019, mid of year 2019. We send this module to the customer as an upgrade. You may purchase this from our website then. And uh, I think this DSP module received quite a high praise on the market where uh, Six Spoon Reviewer uh, says that this is one of the best mm, price and performance upgrades to the DSC. So this DSP module, we call it 22E FPGA DSP module. Why we call this a 22E FPGA module is because this little FPGA chip here is 22E packaging. So this FPGA here um, from Altera or Intel is in another packaging where sadly, after some time, it gets discontinued. In year 2020, first quarter of year 2020, Dynaflips changed the DSP module to a, what we call a BGA DSP module. We call it a 22F. Again, I have the module with me. Let me just put in comparison of the two. Uh, the orientation is like that, yes. These are the two DSP modules that we have for the firmware update. It's firmware upgradable. So this um, module can be purchased on our website then as well. Um, this is the 22F BGA module. Uh, as you can notice, I'm not sure whether the camera is sharp enough to capture this, the differences. This is the 22F BGA FPGA module and this is the 22E. Both DSP module are firmware upgradable over USB through a Windows or Mac computer. So if you have been following um, Dynafrips firmware update project released by us, uh, you know that you need to have a Windows or Mac computer to update the firmware. So in case you have the older um, Terminator DAC and upgraded with one of the DSP module that we released in mid-2019 onwards, yes, the good news is the deck can be firmware upgradable. 
um, if you purchase the DSE in between year 2019, mid of year 2019 uh, uh, to somewhere, I think end of year 2020, the DSC already come with the DSP module that is firmware upgradable. So that's also to say that you might not need to show us the photo of the DSP module if you know the shipping date or the order date of the DSE from Windshine Audio or if you know that you have upgraded the DSP module somewhere in year 2019, mid of year 2019 onwards, we know that the DSP module FPGA firmware or FPGA chip model installed in your DSE. We always got this uh, feedback from the customer where why is it the firmware update require them to take a photo of the FPGA chip model? Uh, this is because the firmware running in the DSP module is different from one FPGA model to another FPGA model. The firmware essentially are the same, but the pin... Uh, it's difficult to explain this if you are not technical. The pin assignment of this FPGA module is different from one to another. The firmware is the same, but the pin assignment, the differences between the pin assignment of this DSP module is not compatible with another one. So if you update the firmware to the wrong DSP module or the wrong FPGA chip, it will break the DSC. To minimize the disruption of the firmware update project, we always ask the customer to take a photo of the FPGA chip model, send it to us, and we will provide the correct firmware update tool, and we call it FUT, short form, firmware update tool, to you. So this minimizes the disruption of the risk breaking the DSC. But we understand that a DSC size like the Terminator is difficult to take it out from the hi-fi rack and open the top cover and share it with us with the, a photo of the FPGA chip. So we thought, since we know the model of the FPGA chip shipped to you, if you order the deck from Windshine Audio, we know the FPGA chip and you may not need to take a photo of the FPGA chip and share it with us. But if it is not too much trouble, we always recommend you to do that so that we can be sure that the FPGA chip used in the, in the deck itself is the correct one and we will provide the firmware update tool to you. So the firmware update tool, the FUT download links includes two firmware, the original one and the latest one. And this is the good news. If you do not like the new firmware sound quality or you prefer the older one, you can always roll back to the older firmware whenever you need to suit your taste and suit the synergy of the system. And the better news is, since the firmware is upgradable, we will be working with Dynaflips from time to time. And whenever there's a new firmware available, we'll upload this new firmware to the same firmware upload, firmware update to download links. And we will make an announcement to you that, ha, huh, there's a new firmware available if it is not too much trouble, you may update the firmware and enjoy the new sound quality. What is the downside of this for us? That's also to say that the deck that you have is upgradable in terms of feature, sound quality, and the downside of this to all the manufacturers on the market is that the deck may potentially uh, be circulating around on the market. Nobody wants to buy the new deck and slowly the manufacturer will go out of business because there's no sales from the customer. Are we worried about this? Uh, just a little bit. In order to keep ourselves competitive on the market, we have to do this. So some of the customer or some of the vendor actually ask us why we want to roll out the firmware update. By allowing the customer to update the firmware, essentially customer will not want to upgrade the deck anymore. They will wait for the new firmware and they will be happy with the new firmware update. And as the DSC keep improving and evolving, they will keep the DSC for life. So that is also to say that the sales will drop. Are we worried? Uh, like I say, a little bit, but it is necessary to do that, to stay competitive on the market. Right, I think I have talked something that is not relevant to the Terminator firmware update release, but I think um, it is something we have to do to reward our customer. 
If you find my channel interesting, if you might find my content interesting, do subscribe to the channel for more updates like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.